Hello everyone and welcome to Flickering Myth. My name is EJ Marino and we have a brand new TV review. I'm diving into the Amazon series, The Underground Railroad. Okay, well this was quite the series. I enjoyed it, but saying that I enjoyed this show feels bad at times because this is a pretty traumatic show. I mean, each episode had something for the most part that I just went, Holy hell, this is rough. And I'm not expecting a show set during this time period about this subject matter, dealing with this kind of shit. That I didn't expect it to be a cakewalk, but I was just like, this is an exhausting series. It is so well directed. Director Barry Jenkins does the damn thing. Like, I knew from watching If Beale Street Can Talk and Moonlight that I was going to like the direction and the cinematography and the vibe of this show. All of that is great, but when I get into the subject matter, when I get into each episode by episode, I don't know how I feel about it. Maybe it could be the book source material because I overall think it's a clever idea. There's just something about the execution that just feels a little bit been there, done that. Even though they're reimagining the underground real world as a legit thing, as like a, a subway-like system for the slaves to get from one place to another, they're reimagining it as a legit thing. But other than that, it just feels like well-worn territory by now. And that's kind of conflicting because I think some filmmakers do want to tackle this time period, do want to put their spin and their personality and their aesthetic on it. And I will say Barry Jenkins does that. So by me saying I don't really like that he tackled this, I love a modern, a 70s, a, a current story from uh, Barry Jenkins. I just was like, okay, I, I wish you could, you know, keep on doing modern stuff because sure, you're very good at this and it is your right to tell this type of story, but I don't think this is his strongest work I've seen yet. Okay, so other than my issues with the story and the overall vibe of the show, I will say one of the highlights of this is the strong actors. Oh my goodness, like Tuso Madube is just, uh, she is phenomenal. Like, I think her Korra character is so strong. She gets me through the episodes, but we also have Joel Edgerton and his little friend, what is his name, Chase W. Dillon, those two characters really get me in, and they're not the most likable characters. Joel Edgerton is playing this gross Captain Ahab-inspired man who's hunting down Korra because he believes that, you know, I need to get this person, and I've never had a slave get away from me other than this one thing, and I'm going to make up for that. His character is so disgusting. But yes, I have to go to um Tuso, and I have to go to her partner for a little bit of the episodes. Is Aaron Pierre, he plays Caesar. Wow, these two together. Together, it just it grips you in early on. I will say the show from the start grabs me in, and it's because of this acting. No matter how I felt about the subject matter, about the depiction, about seeing black trauma in this type of capacity, I was just like, I will sit through this because this acting is so compelling. It's so good. It's so extra. Like everyone is giving it their all, even like little smaller character works like Lily Rabe and Will Poulter. And I'm like, oh wow, you guys are doing really good. Even if it's not this big flashy role, there's still something there. But yes, I had to like point out Joel Edgerton and uh, uh, Tuso because they are so, so, so good. These are the reason I would say watch this show. If you are hesitant because the subject matter, because this may not be for you, I understand that completely, but I will say there is great acting here that cannot be ignored. So the overall story follows like this, and I don't want to spoil everything, but Korra and Caesar escape from their slave area, from their master, and Korra has to do something pretty dramatic to leave. So once that happens, she's like a wanted woman, and they find this underground railroad system that takes them through, and it's an actual, like, underground railroad. In real life, it wasn't very much like that, but in here, it's reimagined like this, and I thought that was really compelling. Once I heard that, I thought the show would have a more fantasy element, a little bit more of a revisionist history. I think of something like what Ryan Murphy does with his TV shows, so I was just like, oh, okay, and then episode two, there's like homages to the Tuskegee, like medical experiments, and I'm like, oh. I was expecting a fantasy showing, you know, we get some of black life that may be a little bit better for people this time and no the rug gets pulled out from under you and nothing is ever 
perfect in this show. And it's it's conflicting because I don't think a show has to be warm and fun and loving to really be a good show. But I like after each episode, I was just like, I have to do another one. Like I paced myself out watching this because it is a heavy, dramatic watch. So if things like this do bother you, I find like slavery in film and civil rights era stuff to be a little harder to watch. It's some brutal stuff sometimes. So yes, wanted to give you guys kind of a little bit of a light trigger warning there. The show is not easy. There, The first episode has some pretty traumatic stuff and it doesn't really lighten up. It does at times, but yeah, just had to give a warning because this is a good show. It is just not for the faint of heart. I have seen all of the episodes of Underground Railroad and I will say I think it is a compelling show. It is worth the watch. It is just hard because it's it's just like I said in the beginning. I love Barry Jenkins, but I love Moonlight. I love if Beale Street can talk. His perspective of the more modern black experience is something I really, really enjoy. And I think he captures it very well. And my friends within the black community often really do cite his work as something very grounded and very down to earth. So I'm interested to see because this is him adapting a book. This is him telling a story that I don't think is his usual story, but it, it doesn't take it away that I do think it is worth him telling. I'm glad he out of any filmmaker was the one to grab this. There's some of them that I'm like, I don't know how I feel. Maybe this is not the best thing, but he's a mature filmmaker that can lighten the tone when it needs to be, but can take you down some dark routes and he still holds your hand. I will say, I definitely don't think this is Barry Jenkins just thrusting you into a world and going, have fun. Isn't it sad? Aren't we like having fun being sad? No, no, he isn't like this in the show. So I will say, I like it. I am very happy Barry Jenkins got to direct the hell out of every episode. There's shots, there's scenes, there's moments of dialogue, there's just monologues, there's fights with people that I'm like, he is a filmmaker. I need to see him back in a movie as soon as possible because, wow, Barry Jenkins proves himself once and once and once again that he is a hell of a filmmaker. Each episode, you're going to be like, Damn, that was brutal, but damn, he is so good at his job. All right, everyone, that is it for my review of Barry Jenkins' new Amazon series, The Underground Railroad. I would say watch it. I just give it a light content warning because it is hard to watch. It is a brutal show, but it's done very well. I don't think this is black trauma on screen just for the sake of seeing it. There is something to be said here. There is a lot of discussions. I just have to give that out there. This is not a fun viewing and I like my stuff to be a little bit more entertaining at times. It's a conflicting review. I'm somewhere in the middle, but I want to know what you think. If you've had the chance to see the show, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel if you did enjoy this. Hey, and give us a thumbs up because YouTube takes those way too seriously. All right, everyone, let's talk about Underground Railroad down below.